Let's talk ski season. It is officially starting, and snow is, of course, big business for the Tahoe resorts. But so far, we haven't seen any snow. Dave Bender is standing by in the Weather Center for us tonight with more on the dry conditions. But in first, Sierra. we're going to bunny hop over him because mm -hmm. we're going to start with CBS okay. 13's Rachel Wolf. She is live uh, where they're using man made snow to get people out on the slopes, Rachel. Well, typically it is dry this time of year and add to that that this is one of the earliest opening days on record in the past two decades. And that means you got to have a backup plan if you want to make this kind of snow. So on the kangaroo trail today, we have about three feet of snow. Making snow magic starts more than a month in advance. You know, our snowmakers are on every night. They're monitoring the conditions. You know, whenever there's an ability to make snow, we're definitely making it. Squaw Valley Alpine Meadows spent more than $9 million this past decade on snowmaking. That's equipment. Like I said, that's our team. Um, you know, uh, the lines that feed the resources to the snowmaking guns. Remember last year? Just lay back. And relax. Nice. <laughs> Mother Nature cooperated for opening day. This year, not so much, but it's one of the earliest on record in the last 20 years. And it's squaw meteorologist Brian Allegretto's job to keep track of it all. We're in a dry pattern the last few weeks. We got snow in September. Now we're in the dry pattern here in the first half of November, but it's not uncommon to have that happen here in November. The resorts are banking on big storms from January through March to make up the difference. Last year, all that snow in February, and it was cold, and it's just stuck and sat, and it, we actually got some snow in May as well. And so they were able to get a huge base. A lot of the ski resorts up here had over 100-inch bases. For now, early birds are happy to beat the crowds, especially with wee ones. Yeah, it's our third year in a row with these guys as a family. It's fun. First day on the mountain. I'm excited to be here and spend the season here. That last lady there actually moved here from Salt Lake City. The jury's still out on the snow, she says, but, you know, we can touch the snow. It's actually pretty hard, and it was soft earlier, but it was melting in the sun, and now it's getting really cold. Temperatures are dropping, so it's got this layer on it. So, again, we're going to talk to some of those locals coming up at 6 o'clock. A great day out here. Hundreds of folks. Uh, it's only going to get better as we head into the spring season, and that's what they're really known for. Yeah, no doubt. All right, you mm -hmm. captured the day nicely for us. Thanks, Rachel. Be safe.